Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of high waist shorts with a fly. Today's free PDF sewing pattern will fit Barbie, Queens of Africa dolls, Tall Barbie, Petite Barbie, Vintage Barbie, and a number of other dolls in this size range. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download and print these two free PDF doll clothes sewing patterns. There's a helpful link in the description below this video on YouTube. Use your pattern to cut out these four pieces as outer fabrics and then four identical pieces for the lining of the shorts. Lay the fly front outer piece on top of the fly front lining piece, keeping right sides facing. That means the pretty side touches the pretty side of the fabric. Stitch around the fly and the top or waist part. Lay the non-fly front on top of its lining, keeping right sides together. And sew along the waist and down the front. The shorts fronts now look like this on one side, and they look like this on the other side. Set one shorts back on top of its lining, but this time only sew across the waist part. Do this for both shorts backs. Set the backs aside for a moment. Clip the non-fly fronts seams and I'll show you how I do that. So I clip a corner and then I clip carefully along. Now when we clip the fly fronts seams, I kind of slowed the video down because I want you to see not just this corner, but after I do this quickly, this diagonal cut right here. Okay. Now make sure you cut it like that. Invert the fly fronts. I used a chopstick to help with inverting those corners, especially the fly can be kind of tricky. Um, so you just kind of twist your chopstick inside there to get those the edges of that fly to pop out a little bit. Invert the non-fly front the same way we did with the fly front. I like to use my chopstick for the corner. Press both fronts. Now if you're working with children to make doll clothes, make sure an adult supervises. Lay the fly front on top of the non-fly front, keeping outer fabrics together. Stitch from the fly's edge to the center of the crotch. Clip this seam. Open the shorts back pieces like this and press the seam flat. Do this for both backs, then fold them over so you're looking at the outside part or the outer fabric, the right side. And then press the waist of each back again. Now you have two shorts backs that look like this, so you can see the clean outer fabric. Lay one shorts back on top of another, keeping the outer fabrics touching. Sew from the waist to the crotch. Clip this seam. Open fronts and backs up and lay one on top of another. Again, keeping the outer fabrics touching. So I've got my polka dots touching. Sew along the out seam, stopping about a centimeter and a half from the bottom edge of the shorts. Do this for both out seams or what we might call side seams. Fold the bottom edges of the shorts inside. This is where we would normally hem at the bottom, 
we're going to fold it inside of itself. So you're folding it in between the outer fabric and the lining. See how I'm folding that to make a little pinch? Okay. Whip stitch along this edge. If you need help with the whip stitch, I have a tutorial with the link in the description below. You're going to whip stitch this edge for all four pant legs or all four bottom edges. Now your shorts look like this. Notice the side seams are unfinished. We need to finish the side seams or out seams before we go on, on both sides of the shorts. Bring the crotches together. And I'll show you how I do that because that can be kind of tricky to understand. So you've got this tiny little raw edge that hasn't been finished. That's the crotch. We bring those together. Stitch across the crotch. Now your shorts look like this in the back and like this in the front where the fly is. Now you're going to invert those shorts and you'll see me doing that right here. Again, a chopstick helps. It makes it easier for those tiny little holes. Okay. And add snaps to the fly. And now you're ready to try them on a doll. These turned out so cute. For more free printable sewing patterns, for making doll clothes for dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow and you help spread the word.